New York Yankee Saints, how's it going yet again? It's Felix from NYNews.com. And this is going to be one of those videos, if you're sensitive, just exit out as of now. The New York Yankees have come under fire by SJWs on the right. I like to call these people race pimps. It doesn't matter if you're a lefty or a righty. If you use race in your politics, I want nothing to do with you. And before I begin, I am a libertarian, and I do support the President of the United States. But I will call hypocrisy when I see it. And also, I am giving out my opinion because it has to do with the New York Yankees, and this is M1News.com. So the Yankees banned uh, Kate Smith's rendition of God Bless America because something came out on the lines of Kate Smith singing racist songs when she was around her mid-20s or early 20s, something like that. The titles of the songs were called Why Darkies Were Born and Piccaninny Heaven. Piccaninny, which was a term to describe a black child. So you would see why all of these sports teams or companies, whatever you want to call them, removed Kate Smith, you know, they uh, memory holder. You would see why, because they're companies. And in this day of age, you have a whole bunch of SJWs from the left and from the right. Specifically, the Yankees playing in the Bronx, New York. They made the right move. Obviously, not specifically because they play in the Bronx, because obviously, these terms are obviously racist. So now you have a whole bunch of people on the right attacking the New York Yankees, which they obviously haven't done their research. The Yankees front office is highly conservative. A whole bunch of Trump supporters in the Yankees front office. Brian Cashman literally endorsed uh, Brett Kavanaugh for Supreme Court. So let's take the NY Times, for example. They published a cartoon that was anti-Semitic. Obviously, they got backlash for it and well-deserved. But then you had the right calling the NY Times racist, which is a left-leaning publication. They called them racist for the anti-Semitic post, which obviously that was racist. But what I'm trying to say here is you have groups of each side playing the race card, and using identity politics to rile up minorities. But in some instances, like this Kate Smith stuff and the NY Times stuff, it's common sense. It's common sense. It's not anybody saying, hey, we want to reverse uh, America's history. Let's just pinpoint this and that. And the problem I have here is that some people on the right are making it seem that the Yankees are or stopping God Bless America at Yankee Stadium, which is far from the truth. They, if you ask me, it is better than before. I really didn't like Kate Smith's uh, rendition of God Bless America. I thought it was horrible. And it's really a shame that people call themselves conservatives when they're attacking a franchise like the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees, you could argue they're America's team. You could argue that baseball is America's pastime. It's really fishy that these individuals have taken upon themselves to attack the Yankees in this manner. Knowing that the Yankees front office, the Steinbrenners, which was they weren't around when baseball was breaking the color barriers and the Yankees didn't have a black player on their team till like 1955. I mean, that was different management. So when something pops up as, you know, the titles of songs being the black child of this and that, whatever it means. I mean, the Yankees have a right to say, hey, we're not going to play Kate Smith's rendition of God Bless America because you have a whole bunch of SJWs on the left. They really don't like our front office because of our views. They're just going to use that to attack us because really they do have a point. And as you guys know, MLB baseball as a whole has been attacked as being racist as well. So you can see it as a business point of view, but it's really common sense. So let's fast forward and show you this tweet from Kathy, Kathleen Bennett, whatever her name is, uh, SJW on the right, who, in my opinion, is going through a phase, you know, being a political activist, doing a whole bunch of nonsense, in my opinion. And when she grows older, she's going to look back and say, wow, I really look stupid. So let's read this tweet. The NY Yankees banned God Bless America because they think Kate Smith sang something racist in 1931. But the Yankees took it till 1955 to put an African-American on their team. Eight years after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. Should we ban the at Yankees for their racism? 
So what she's trying to say here is she's trying to compare it to like saying ban the Confederate flag, ban all of these statues in the South. That's what she's trying to compare it to. But she's missing the whole point. The Yankees are a business. They're not a government entity. They're allowed to do whatever they want. And she's a hypocrite in her ideology because her ideology says that, okay, keep government out. And if you're your own person or your own company business or whatever, you could do whatever you want. And this is what the Yankees are doing. This is what other sports teams are doing. Okay. Because it's a common sense business move to do. So these SJWs are hypocrites attacking and trying to put pressure on these separate entities, these independent entities to do what they want when they're allowed to do whatever they want freely the American way. So in my opinion, in the perfect world, I think SJWs like this person should be banned. Not the New York Yankees, but I believe in freedom of speech. Obviously, these other people don't believe in freedom of nothing. They're all about race pimping, race pimping, race pimping. Let me be your race pimp. Let me include race in politics. It's nonsense. I'm sorry to include political things on this channel, but it's news. It's out there. A whole bunch of publications are talking about it. I just wanted to put my two cents in there. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time. Yeah.